Hey guys, so I have a video for you. This is my latest haul. Five CDs, or technically six, because one's got two albums in one, and a seven inch and a 12 inch vinyl. I'm gonna start off with my um, CDs, and I'll show you what I've picked up for my collection. First one is Metal Galaxy, Baby Metal. That's um, Japanese Kiwi, Kiwi Metal, formed in 2011, I think it's Kiwi metal or Kiwi metal. Not seen this band yet. I would love to see them live. And as I've said to a few people, um, I didn't really like them at the start when I first um listened to this band. I thought they were terrible sounding. They thought they really not my cup of tea. Then over the years, I've listened to like various songs, still didn't like them. And then a couple of months later, I actually <clears throat> um listened to Gimme Chocolate and something clicked, and I thought. This isn't as bad as I thought it was, and I thought I'd get it, and really enjoyed it. So, as I did in my last one, and I've done an unboxing video, I bought the 10 Baby Metal Year CD and gave that a full listen. I fully enjoyed it, and I thought I do really enjoy it. So I thought, don't know why, I just started to fully enjoy them. So I thought I'd go and get the um their back catalog. Now they've only got three studio albums out, so I've got um where are they? I'll show you these ones first. Um, the free baby metal that I had. Obviously, that one's Metal Galaxy, which is the latest one, 2019. Then the debut album, which is just Baby Metal. This one was released in 2015. I'm guessing 2017. 2019 was Metal Galaxy, so I'm guessing 2017 was the middle one. It's the only one I'm missing. And then, obviously, just to get all their live, and this one's live at Wembley. Baby Metal Water 2016, so I'll add that one. So I'm after the rest of their live, just to add to my um, collection, basically. So I just want to get the rest of their stuff. Then we have Belfagor, Austrian Black and Death Metal, formed in 1991. This is yeah, actually the first two studio albums on one, so I didn't even know. I just pre-ordered it because it's Belfagor, and what I've heard of them, I did really enjoy. So I thought it was cool first studio, two studio albums on one so I can actually listen to their earlier stuff to actually see what I um, think of them so it was a no-brainer pre-ordered it I've already got like 32 pre-orders on Amazon because a load of stuff have been available for pre-order like the German traditional like speed power metal whatever I call them Rage from three of their early albums were avail available for pre-order two disc editions so I've added them to the basket and pre-ordered them then the next one we have is Belgian Black Metal formed in 2014, Ouija Dude. Friends have actually posted stuff on Facebook of these um, various songs and I've, I've popped up and I've gave them a listen to the various songs that I posted and I did really enjoy them. I thought, these are interesting. Then I noticed it popped up for pre-order on Amazon, this album, so I pre-ordered it. I'm not sure if it's an album or EP. So I thought I'd get it like a shot and give them a um, full listen and see what I think of them. Then this one is British Hard Rock Band from 1972. This album's The Monster Rules, which is the latest Magnum album. I actually can't wait to get into this. Funny story about this band. Or should I say one of the members of this band. Me and a good friend was up um, Nuneason back in 2014. We went to see Ed Guy. At the Queen's Hall, uh, it was Ed Guy on a Space Police war tour. The only time I've seen Ed Guy, and they were absolutely incredible live. Well, we were there, and I was speaking to someone, me and a good friend. We was having a chat with this bloke and just having a random chat. I knew not much about Magnum. I didn't know much about the band or anything like that. And after the gig, when I got home and somebody said, oh, the guy you were talking to, that you had a full good chat with, I said, yeah. And I said, you do realise that guy was Bob Catley, which... I was actually didn't know and I looked at it and I was in shock that I um, couldn't believe it I was actually chatting to as somebody said a legend so I was having a good chat with him and I didn't even know who the bloke was so that was a very funny story then recent over the recent years since 2014 I have listened to various Magnum songs I do really enjoy them so far I really need to get some of their stuff more of their stuff in my collection and give them a proper listen so this album come up for period of grabbed it um, I did do an unboxing video, one of their compilations, which was, um, I think it was last year or something. 
because I had one that I pre-ordered and I turned off. I thought it was a studio album, but it wasn't. It was a compilation full of like, was it B-sides, radio edits, some live and various stuff like that. But still gave it a listen, did really enjoy it. So I'm going to enjoy this album. I really can't wait. Two vinyl for you. First one is a 7-inch. This one's Teresa's Rasputin. 7-inch vinyl. Actually, cover of Boney M. I love this version. Don't mind the original Boney M, but this one is very fun. So if you like your um, battle metal, and they're formed in 1997, highly recommend giving them a go. Plus their album Battle Metal, battle metal is a great album. But my favourite album by Teresa is To Home Guard and Beyond, which is a masterpiece. So fully recommend you go and giving that listen. I'd get on them like a shot. Then 12 inch vinyl, I have one 12 inch vinyl which turned up. This one is with Fear and Weapons, no, where Fear and Weapons meet, which is 1914. I've actually unboxed this on CD and played it multiple times because it's somewhere on my YouTube channel, the CD version. Pillars of Fire, the Battle of Messinas is incredible. I absolutely love this album. So if you like your, um, Ukraine Black and Death slash Doom Metal 2014, then I do highly recommend giving these a go. I've actually just been playing this and I'm on my last side of the vinyl. So when this video finishes, I'll just um quickly finish this vinyl off. Then I'll be um straight onto Magnum, so I can't wait to listen to this. I've listened to nothing off this album. I just pre-ordered it thinking I really need to um dip fully more into this band. And I I was on eBay about an hour ago and I just typed in Magnum and one of their albums came up on the cassette for something like two quid. One of their earlier albums, so it was a no-brainer. I snapped it up and thought I need to get a lot of more of their stuff and fully give them a go. So yeah, that has been my latest haul of um, CD slash vinyl. I have got quite a few pre-orders turning up this month. I think I've got like another 12 or something. And a few CDs that I bought on eBay. I think I've got like one more Baby Metal CD turning up. And then I um, can't remember the other bands, but I've got a few turning up. And the band Grail Nights, which um, their new album's out. Is it March? I should have that one turning up. I did pre-order on there. I did go on their site and should I say, I think it was December and I'd done a haul. I spent £104 in English money on their site and I bought, I think it was like the full back catalogue of their, some DVDs, t-shirt and everything. Nothing's turned up. So I emailed the, um, the guy who I bought the stuff off. I think it was a singer. I emailed him this morning and he apologised and said it should have turned up by now. And so he said he'll get everything shipped out to me and there'll be an extra gift in there which I thought was cool just to say thank you for your support with the band so I should have that turning up within the next week or so so yeah that has been my latest haul remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell I just did a um, video just did unboxing videos on all of my stuff which turned up so they're all on my YouTube channel at the moment premiering over the next um, couple of months because and I'm just about to go and do a few more and then I'll get all these played. I don't really watch TV as I was telling most people. I don't really, really sit there in front of the TV and watch movies and everything. It's mainly 90% of my time when I'm not working is music. So it's just all based around music because that's my um, biggest passion. So that's why I collect a lot of CDs and vinyl and I have more CDs and vinyl and I've explained to someone because I'm... Um, Usually CDs when they're for pre-order, something like 10 quid on CD and in the vinyl. You're looking at about 40, 50 quid for a vinyl, which sometimes it's a bit ouch when, you know, I'm pretty low pay on my wages. So, which is, I need a better job. That's what I think to myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, video, my latest haul. I'll see you in the next um, unboxing video. So take care and stay safe.